Welcome to the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, which is the location for today's race. The cars are out on the grid, so let's join the action down on the track. At 2,285 meters above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge, not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Bottas, Lance Stroll and Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Norris and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc and Vettel, Mick Schumacher, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi and George Russell, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Okay, DRS is now available. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Superb driving. That's the race win.
the thin air here in Mexico City makes this event a brutal one for these Formula One cars. But this team have done a fantastic job to make it to the chequered flag and take a well-earned victory. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Sergio Perez is now our points leader in the Drivers' Championship thanks to his performance today. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Having a good, good family around, good friends. Um, I think I, I have everything in life as can, I can ask for.